is going on Chaotic HQ, this is Chaos Fatal here, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a Gears of War 3 beta gameplay. I go about 14-0 and 0 and there's tons of headshots in this gameplay, so I'm pretty sure you guys will enjoy it while I talk about this. Before I actually start getting in depth with this video, I actually have a video posted on my channel, and I would really appreciate it if you guys went and checked that out first. Unless you've already played the beta, then you will know what I'm talking about. If you didn't play the beta, you should definitely go check out that video first before you start listening to this. There will either be a annotation on the video or a link in the description for you guys to go check that video out. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into this. Those of you guys who played the beta will know that there were a good amount of spawn camping issues and spawn trapping issues during the beta on both trenches and thrash ball. Well since then, Epic has actually done some changes to both trenches and thrash ball. Now on thrash ball, there's actually three exits from spawn. You can either go left towards the frags, you can go up towards the middle where there will be digger, torque bow, bull talk, or you can go to the right and go up top over by mortar and the mulcher. So this way when you spawn now, you're not going to have to leave through one area. You, you actually have a choice of where you want to go and you don't have to worry about coming out to a whole team just waiting to destroy you with retro lancers and whatever else they have just waiting for you. Plus that makes the map so much more balanced now and knowing that you can actually leave your own spawn safely is definitely a positive thing. And it's almost the same thing with trenches, except I'm pretty sure there's only two exits now. The original exit that was in the beta, and they've actually incorporated a lower part into the map, which is great because you don't have to worry about getting trapped in your spawn once again. And with this lower area of the map, there's also an exit out into the middle of the map. Those of you who saw the video know that there's actually a break now in the middle of the map, close to the digger. You can go straight underground and you can access both spawns. You can go either left or right, or you could just stay down there and fight and do whatever you gotta do. So that's definitely a big plus on trenches because I remember playing the beta and getting trapped in spawn while the other team had mortar and the one shot and other people had retro lancers just staring us down the instant that that would finish they would go to the other spawn where they know where we're gonna spawn and just take us out again so it could be really frustrating and I'm glad that they did these changes to the maps because it makes it so much more balanced and not only that but it also makes the game more fun and interesting now with these map changes uh, it could still be a potential issue from people who play competitively because if you're going against people who know what they're doing they're gonna say like okay two people need to be up top in the area of trenches and I don't know say three of us will be down low we're gonna watch and not let them leave their spawn again and we're just gonna keep spawn traveling them this way you'd have to be going against pretty good teams I'm saying teams of five in order for them to be doing something like that and even then it wouldn't be that big of an issue but it could still cause problems and irritate people but like I said even then it's gonna be hard to spawn trap people because you have a multitude of exits and you could say okay they only have two people watching this area we could have five go up there so overall I think Epic has done a great job revising the maps and changing them up as a whole because like I said throughout the beta there were spawn trapping issues especially on thrash ball because people would get stuck in their spawns and people on the other team would grab nades and just chuck them down there draw them out and just destroy the whole team so it was pretty unfair and with these new changes it is so much more balanced and it's gonna make the game that much better and I think one of the most important things to notice about epic changing the maps is showing that they actually care about our opinions and I think that's one of the most important things game developers need to take into account so with epic showing us that they do care about our opinions it shows that they'll probably care about them in the future and if there are any future problems with the game then Epic can always go back and revise them. So definitely a really good thing. And with that being said, I think that's pretty much all I want to talk about with the whole map revisions. And now I pretty much just want to see comments from you guys in the comments section. Like you could elaborate on what I talked about or you could discuss other things that you would like to see changed in the game. Either way, Gears 3, we got like less than a month now so I know we're all hyped and 
with that being said, I think I'm going to end this commentary here. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. Remember to subscribe to us if you haven't already, and you could also check out my personal channel where I have a bunch of good series going on, and you guys can also be expecting a bunch of great stuff from all of us right when Gears 3 comes around the corner. We have tons of videos planned for you guys. We have a lot of great ideas, so I know you guys are going to love it. So with that being said, I will see you guys next time. Peace.